Uh, this is, uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. So we're going to make a drink, make a, a cocktail, and uh, let's talk about the news a little bit. Uh, I'm going to start off the classic. It's Friday, so we're going to make margarita. Uh, Facebook just uh, reversed the policy on flagging posts that uh, incite violence or voter suppression. And they did this after a boycott of advertisers. Uh, and it's good to know that the people over at uh, the last wallet you'll ever need are finally taking a stand on something. Some of the advertisers that boycotted, boycotted Facebook were quite big, like Ben and Jared's. This isn't really that brave when you think about it, because like, it's not like people are eating less ice cream right now. You know what I mean? Like Ben and Jerry's could rename themselves Phil and Tony's rancid whale excrement, and I'd still get through about two pints of that shit a week. Uh, all right, we're doing two different rims on these margaritas. We're doing a sugar rim. Look at that, beautiful. And same goes with the salt. Uh, there's a bunch of pastors in Seattle uh, have uh, asked people to uh, restrain from tearing down statues of, quote, white Jesus. Which I kind of get, because Jesus sort of looks like a confederate general. You think? You know, he's Caucasian, he's got a beard, he's got like that white linen suit. You know, he says shit like glory, glory, hallelujah. He refers to dinner as supper. You know, he's even got like, Jesus even has three names like a confederate general. There's not that much difference between Robert E. Lee and Jesus H. Christ. Two ounces of steel in these glass. So, Four ounces of sorry, lime, some lime in there, triple sec. I put in like maybe an ounce of triple sec. Make sure you drop the, uh, the lid. Or, uh, ice. There's a woman in England. Uh, she has two wounds and she's carrying twins. Uh, in one in each wound. Technical term, apparently it's a uterus didelphus. Uh, unless if she's standing up, if she's lying on the side, it's called bunk bed. Zing Zang. They did the survey in Pakistan. It turns out that 30% of the pilots in Pakistan uh, aren't qualified to fly. Um, or as the official slogan of uh, Pakistan Airlines puts it, yeah, I mean, you know, there's a one in three chance that you're, the guy with the cap on uh, isn't a pilot, but, you know, free Wi Fi. All right, that's uh, five o'clock somewhere in the news.